Hi beauties and girls, welcome back for another video. And y'all, I'm loving the look that I have. And it's all a tutorial using the Perception Shayla ColourPop collab. And I'm loving this palette. She checked all the boxes with this one. She has the names on the back. She has the names on the palette itself, which is a pet peeve of hers and mine. She has an amazing mirror. She has wonderful transition shades. You get 16 shades, four of them being matte. It doesn't matter that they're not even. I love she picked perfectly the perfect amount of mattes. And these shimmers are amazing. You don't need Fix Plus. If you want to amp it up, you can use it. But the great way that I can tell that a palette is the bomb is that if I can use my fingers and that lets me know that anybody can use this palette when you can go in with your fingers with the palette this is a palette for anyone I really love it I feel like that she I love the names they're so innovative it allows me to be very creative with this palette I get inspired and some palettes tend to be boring and I've noticed that through a pan that palette that I'm doing right now and I'm getting really bored if I was going to pan this one I would Feel like I still would have inspiration using it all the time. I feel like you can do a smoky eye. She has warm tone shades. She has neutrals. She has cool tone shades. You can do a smoky eye. I feel like that this is a multi-purpose palette. I absolutely, absolutely love it. The only thing that I would say that is not in this palette is a shade to set your eye which I'm okay with because I use my translucent powder anyway because of this palette I can declutter actually a couple of my palettes that I have been wanting to pass on that I feel like I have to dip into other palettes I only went into this palette it's amazing I uh, you don't need fix plus but you can use it if you want to amp it up but this is the way that I found out that a palette is really good. If I can use my fingers, that means anybody can use it. I am a freelance make makeup artist. I used to work with MAC and then I went kind of like on my own. And I love palettes like this because you can tell when a makeup artist does a palette because they have everyone in mind. If you want to see how this looks on my face, it is going to be a voiceover just because I wanted to concentrate on the look and all of these shades are from this palette. I love the fact that I did not have to go to another palette. So if you're interested in this look, then keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the shade Thick. It's a fiery orange, but what I'm doing is using a very a big fluffy brush to diffuse the shade of the color because we're going to go in and make it more concentrated on the end in just a minute. I'm just using windshield wiper motions and concentrating most of that color on the outward part of my eye and then just bringing it in. I'm also using an angled brush and also using that same color under my lash line. Now I'm going in the shade Revenge and I'm using the angle brush. This is really good when you want to concentrate the color in a certain area and it packs on the color a little bit more. Then I'm going back and diffusing that color and then just adding more. I'm building the outer part of the eye. Now I'm using the color Strut and Slay. I really like this color. It's like Revenge, but in a metallic version, and also taking Unbothered unbothered, and sticking it in the outer corner. And that is the look, you guys. I'm just going to play a little bit more with some eyeshadow sticks. I just wanted to see how these worked, and if I even wanted to keep them in my collection. I am trying a couple of items to see. I do like eyeshadow sticks, but I wanted to test these out. These are by... Makeup Forever. They're their aqua eyeshadow pencils. So I really do enjoy these though. But I wanted to say that I really enjoyed these pressed pigments. The metallics were super metallic. This formula is a lot different. I don't want to say a lot different, but you can tell that it's not the typical eyeshadow pigment of the ColourPop eyeshadows. I feel like it's a step up. Um, the metallics are super metallic 
and the mattes are very creamy, super blendable. Reminds me a lot of the Lorac shadows, but without the fallout. I hope that makes sense. In, in other words, it's a good thing. But anyway, I am using Eccentrico by Giorgio Armani on my lashes. I'm not going to use faux lashes today, but I wanted to use these. But I really did enjoy this palette. Like I said, the only thing that I would have, the only thing that I would change in this palette is having something to set the concealer or your primer with, but I am totally fine with that. I think that she did a great job with selecting the colors, although they were for her, they were really great universal tones that would go great with anyone. Now we're going to take a lipstick called Ooh from the collection. I love this shade. I really like it because I don't have anything in my collection like this. It's like a nude but muted orange nude. It's, it's very different. But as you can tell, I am done with the look. I'm just adding some earrings and I hope you decide to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell on your way out. And I hopefully I'll see you in another everyday video. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loveys.